And as we move on from the door, you're gonna look into here. You got fresh water fill here. We got a furnace outlet here. Be very careful, this will get hot when you got your furnace turned on. You're gonna have, this is for the back of your fridge. Don't be alarmed if you see a little condensation from the fridge being turned on coming out of here. This, you're on in here. The way to adjust this, you actually just will pull. You'll see these two clips come out. And as you move, it'll actually just kind of slide. Nice and simple, easy. Play around with this a little bit, not too hard. It will adjust, it slides on this way here, because as you move. You can do this both sides. I recommend doing it. Having one slide bent a little lower than the other just helps keep the rain no drooping in the middle of the on in. You got your axles here. Nice big tires. You don't gotta do too much with these. Double check your bearings. Uh, they are nice. You pop this cap off, it will be a quick little bearing. Recommend probably do it once every two years. Feel free to take it into an RV shop. They can do it for you also. Again, on and works the same as the other side. You got your easy flip stairs, nice and simple. Flips up, stores up here. Easy handle, flips easy also. We got the walkable roof. So ladder is walkable. They do say the slides are walkable also. I always recommend try and stay off the slides if you can, but if you have that stuck branch or something, feel free to quickly jump on and get off. This is so you can check your seals and everything. Recommend check them at least two times a year. Once when you take it out of storage, once when you put it in. But if you go into tree bush areas, check it again. It's always good to be double sure. You don't want any of the caulking around the air conditioners, anything like that. If that stuff starts to wear and tear, get resealed. Better be safe than sorry. Spare tire. You can always get that removed if you need to back up a little closer for storage, anything like that. Just make sure you have it nice and easy. This is where your shore cord is going to go. It is on 30 amp. You can run on 15. If you're running on 15, your air conditioning stuff's not going to work. Outdoor shower here. It will be hot and cold access everything in here. Wastewater. So this is going to be your black tank flush. If you do the black tank flush, don't use full power from your hose. Be cautious on that. 